Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit to our members, the event is 100% exclusively entirely free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending for this event, DM tbradley90 in MIC chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Joe Kelly, one of our head moderators in MIC chat, who is short biased, puts together a how to series each week on trading basics every Sunday. And today's episode, he is going to talk about handling a losing trade. While this is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content here at MIC, then become an exclusive MIC member. So this week, we're going to talk about handling a losing streak. And just to give you guys a little insight, last week, or the first week of June, really has not been a great trading week for me. Personally, I'm at a break-even point for the month of June, and I've made a lot of uh, mistakes and broken a lot of my own personal rules Um and this is the process I will be following in order to get out of this little rut. So I'm not necessarily on a losing streak, but I'm, uh, I'm breaking even and it really feels like I'm losing. So um, I've lost a lot of opportunity. It, there's been a lot of opportunity cost here. So the first symptoms of a losing streak Consistent losses back-to-back, or your losers are bigger than your winners. You're focusing on the wrong setups, you're either pressing too hard on B-plus setups or lower, you're not pushing hard enough when it's an A or an A-plus setup. You're exiting too soon, or you know, also known as piking, uh, fear of more losses. So what that means is when I go into a setup, I have an idea that it's really going to work for me, but I fear another loss. I just fear another trade not working out. I feel another failed idea. So with consistent losses, my first thing always is I decrease my size by at least 50%. I don't try to trade my way out of a losing streak with size. I just don't. I step back and I reduce my size to help me manage my trades better. So with entry and exit efficiency, let's take a look at RWLK today, for example, on June 7, 2019. My trade idea on RWLK was based on that 718 price level that you see on the chart. That trade idea was a bread and butter setup. It was a bounce short short into a resistance level, a key resistance level. There was a big parabolic move up to that point. It had price extension, it had volume, it had all the it had everything. Literally literally I'm telling you, it, it literally had everything for me. If I could if I could put a picture of an A plus setup for me, this is that setup. Okay. So let's talk about entry efficiency. Let's say you started there at 650, okay? Past that point, what is the highest high and what is the lowest low, okay? If you're shorting, longing, different example. So that difference right there is the difference between the highest high and my entry point. So the highest high after my entry. How efficient was I? How close to the top of that move was I? Was I in the top 80%, 70%, 50%, 90%, whatever it may be? I want to know. 
what that is. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.